Hi, this is Coach Randy. I'm really blessed to have these walking trails, walking paths, uh, right next to the neighborhood that I live in. And you know, as I, I look at this, I'm walking up to a place right now where there's actually a fork in the road. You can see it behind me here. So if I were to turn around and walk, I'd have to decide, am I going one way or am I going to go the other way? And I believe that, that fearless leadership is about making choices and being intentional about those choices in, in areas where we might have been um, unconscious. You know, so many times we go through life and we default to situations without really actively making a choice. Fearless leadership is about living in the moment. It's about being aware of our choices and then exercising wisdom to make the best choices possible. So one of the choices that we can exercise is to not allow ourselves to be triggered. You probably heard that term before, triggered. What triggered is, is if, if you notice that there are certain relationships that you have with people and when a certain thing is said or done, it triggers a downward spiral. And oftentimes these triggers are not even directly related to the incident that happened in the moment. Oftentimes they're, they're tied into uh, pains and wounds of our past. So somebody does something that makes us feel like we're not worth anything or makes us feel like, like uh, we're insecure or maybe insignificant then we uh, can react to that instead of responding and begin these downward spirals. Now what this really means is that what somebody did, first of all we have to realize that it's not possible for somebody to make us respond in a certain way. Our free will is involved and we need to take responsibility for that. That uh, it's our job to manage our own emotions and to not allow these emotional triggers to spiral us downwardly. What this ultimately means when we get in these downward spirals is that we are personalizing things that don't have to be taken personally. Uh, for instance, if somebody you know, says something that's unkind to us, it might not necessarily even be associated with us. It might be tied to the fact that they just got a bad report that you know, they got cancer, somebody in their family got cancer, or maybe they had a horrible day. Maybe it's reflective of the way that they feel about themselves. There's so many other alternate interpretations and we have the power to be able to choose the interpretation that gives us life and positions us to live from a perspective of leadership rather than one of being reactive. So when you face those forks in the road and you're in a situation where you could be triggered, take that few moments just to count to ten rather than reacting in the way that you would have in the past choose a course of action that is life-giving not only to you but to the people that you're inter interacting with don't say things that you're going to regret later or feel sorry about be a leader and that's why I want to challenge you to deepen your ability to be a fearless leader and I put together a video series of nine videos that can help you do just that it's called becoming a fearless leader you can reach it at www.becomingafearlessleader.com it's free this first introduction and I really want to get it into your hands so that you can deepen your ability to walk fearlessly in leadership.